Transverse waves are all around us. They can be found in a ripple tank, slinky, and even a gym rope. Let's study how a transverse wave in a rope is formed by introducing a vibrating force that generates a periodic motion for all the particles in the rope. We will be using numerous individual particle models to represent the particles in the rope. These are the positions of the particles when they are initially at rest. Consider a vibrating force which disturbs the first particle to produce a periodic motion of period of 12 seconds. The first particle is disturbed by a periodic vibrating force and moved to the next position during t equal to 0 second to t equal to 1 second. Forces of attraction hold these particles together and allow energy transfer through the transverse wave. The second particle is disturbed by the first particle due to the bonding that links them and move to the next position during t equal to 1 second to t equal to 2 seconds. The third particle is in turn disturbed by the second particle and move to the next position during t equal to 2 seconds to t equal to 3 seconds. This process of particles interacting with one another due to the presence of bonding between them repeats itself from t equal to 4 seconds to t equal to 12 seconds. All the particles are vibrating about their equilibrium positions. They do not move with the wave motion. Therefore, there is no mass transfer. At t equal to 12 seconds, the wave has traveled through one wavelength. Can you predict the position of all the particles in the wave at t equal to 18 seconds? These are the positions of the particles at t equal to 18 seconds. Similarly, these are the positions of the particles at t equal to 24 seconds, t equal to 30 seconds, and t equal to 36 seconds. Can you see a pattern here? To sum up, a transverse wave is formed by a vibrating force that generates a periodic motion for all the particles in the wave. It is important to remember that each particle vibrates perpendicularly to the direction of wave motion and it does not move along the wave. And as a result, there is only energy transfer and no mass transfer. I hope that you have enjoyed learning about transverse waves.